Okay, our next test. Let's get the engine running. We're going to try the capacitor in the circuit to see if it'll uh, smooth out our voltage a little bit. This is a 25 volt, 3300 microfarad capacitor. Okay. Now, I'll plug in the cap. There. See, our meter just tanked when it was charging up. Now we are seeing much less variance in the voltage. And I simply plugged it in across the DC output leads coming off of the uh, bridge rectifier. I'll unplug it now and we'll see what happens. In three, two, one. And our voltages are all over the place. Plugging it back in. The reason why we jump back up to 15 volts is because we've got no load on this circuit, so the capacitor is holding its charge. Next, we'll hook up some LEDs and uh, see what happens. Okay, we're back. I've hooked up two LEDs to provide a bit of a load. There is a resistor in the circuit with them. And right now we're flying around 6 volts, but it does vary. I've taken our capacitor and I've discharged it by shorting out the leads. And I will plug it into the circuit now. 3, 2, 1, and there. Now as you can see, voltage is pretty much stabilized. Now if I was to turn off the steam engine, so, that's our capacitor decaying. I'll fire it up again. see the effect on the lights. Kill the steam engine. And the lights remain lit for as long as there's sufficient charge in the capacitor to keep them such. So there you have it. Simpid, uh, yeah, simple voltage buffering with an electrolytic capacitor. And in this final shot, I just want to see if we can demonstrate the decay curve of the capacitor. Now the lights are lit. You can't see them very well. But here, we'll cut the steam engine. Now notice the voltage bleeds off quite quickly. Now the LEDs have gone out right about uh, now. And now you can see that uh, the voltage is bleeding off relatively slowly. If at all. So at some point LEDs simply do not pass current if the voltage B is beneath the value that they need to run. Start up again. Lights are lit. Capacitors are charged. Cut the steam engine. And the voltage bleeds off very quickly. The LEDs are no longer visible, and now they are no longer conducting current.
and I don't know how long that's going to take to decay fully. I'm not going to sit around and watch it because I'm here to play with my steam engine more than anything else.